everyone, it's your host of the most Philly Gym coming at you with another video. And should I say, yo everybody, how you doing? King Philly Gym here. You guys have officially gotten me to Philly 500 Gym subscribers. 500 subscribers for Philly Gym. I really appreciate it, man. I'm actually very, very, very shocked at the way uh, that my channel continues to grow and grow. So hit 500, now it's time to hit 600 and you know keep chipping away and hopefully get to 1K before you know it. So anyway, guys, this video is gonna be about Carson Wentz, our quarterback. The Philadelphia Eagles have picked up his fifth year option. So what does that mean? Um, I'm the wrong guy to ask. Uh, I'm not within the organization and um, I really don't have a clue what the deal is, but I think there's a couple options. The number one option is Howie Roseman. Do you guys know, I don't even have to tell you guys how Howie Roseman does with the cap space, and don't make no mistake about it, when Carson Wentz signs a big deal, I'm still not gonna be worried about the cap, because I think, number one, both of these guys, Howie Roseman and Joe Douglas, have a very good eye for talent, and that's how they find guys like Avante Maddox in the fourth round. They see things in players that not every other GM, not every front office can see. So I think even when Carson Wentz is, uh, has a big deal, they're going to still be able to draft well and put talent around him. And outside of just the draft, I, I, even with Carson Wentz having a big deal, I think Howie Roseman's way to manipulate the cap space he will still be able to bring in um, some really good free agents that will help our team uh, continue to be a championship contender um, even throughout Carson Wentz's max deal. So what I do have to say about that is I think it's very, very possible that Howie Roseman is just going to try to ride this whole Carson Wentz rookie contract out as much as possible because why pay him – when you don't have to. I mean, he still has this year left on his contract, and he has a fifth-year option in 2020. So, ideally, you have, like, two years. But if Carson Wentz comes out and he kills it, which I firmly believe, and which I'm sure a lot of you guys firmly believe that he will, then I guess he gets paid at the end of this coming season. I mean... Probably next offseason is when I could expect him to get an extension. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So let me know what you guys think about the whole Carson Wentz situation below in the comments. Um, I'm pretty sure I know a lot of you guys just want to see him do a full solid year, two solid years, take this team to the playoffs. Now, if Carson Wentz takes this team to the Super Bowl this year, yeah. Yeah, I I definitely think he could get paid. But that is what it is, guys. Fifth year options picked up. All we know is we have Carson Wentz. He is our guy for at least two more years. And um he hopefully balls out and kills it and he's here for, you know, the next ten years. And we and when he's uh retired, people are gonna be talking about uh number eleven, four years to come. We're gonna be raising kids. And when you see your kids, you're just going to tell them how good Wentz was. That is what we are hoping for, guys. So let me know what you think about the whole Carson Wentz situation down in the comment section below. As always, go Birds, and I'm out. Thank you for 500 subs. Uh, now you should have never doubted me. The pain and the struggle followed me. My daddy never been that bothered me. And these cold streets made a man of me. No time.